Today we have a brand new 2020 Yamaha SX240. This is a twin engine jet boat powered by 1,812cc. The engines are 1.8 liter high output, high output Yamaha four strokes. There are fuel injected of course. They also have the YEMS system on it, which stands for Yamaha Engine Management System. Additionally, this is a fiberglass boat uh, with many, many features. Also included, as you can see, is a tandem axle Shorelander trailer, including a swing tongue, surge brakes, swivel jack, fenders with steps, tie down straps, and a spare tire with a spare tire mount. Now looking at the boat a little bit more you'll notice we do have a bimini top that is fully extended right now. Perfect for those hot days where a little shade is very nice. On the rear of the boat, we do have a telescoping boarding ladder with three steps on it. Additionally, we also have a table with a removable bottom and top. This table also, have, also has two beverage holders in it. We have a grand, grab handle for when you're climbing up the ladder. We also have a rear radio control mount. So if you're in the water or on the back of the boat, you don't have to go all the way up into the front to change the station or change the song. If we climb up in now, You'll notice we have plenty of cup holders around here and we also have a rear lounge area with padded backrests. These additionally double as storage compartments. We also have a ski toe mount right there or toe loop. Moving further up into the boat, going to first focus our attention on the rear bench area. First and most importantly to notice is this middle cushion right here is fully removable, revealing just fiberglass. This is real handy, so if you're doing a lot of walking in and out of the boat, you can remove it and therefore prevent stepping on your cushion. Next, we'll take a peek underneath the engine compartment. So as previously mentioned, this is a twin engine boat with the Yamaha high output engines. These are 1.8 liters. Next, we'll look at the sides here. Plenty of seating in this boat. And underneath almost every seat, we do have storage. So as you can see, there is a cooler in here. This is included with the boat, and this is just the compartment we have it in right now. Same over here on this side. There's under seat storage. This one is primarily for our batteries. Otherwise known as our perco switches. 
right here there's another mount for the table so you can either have it in the rear of the boat or you can have it right here for the sake of the video i'm not going to move it but it's very easy to do another thing to notice is that there's snap out carpet in this boat so right now we have it all snapped in if you so desired you could take it all out and just have a fiberglass floor so now let's focus our attention on the passengers area we do have a nice passenger seat uh, with armrests, a slider, and it has the capability of swiveling to completely turn around. We also have three cup holders back there, as well as a very nice dash with two cubbies and compartments. Both of them serve as glove boxes. This one right here, we just have like all the owner's manuals in. This one down here is a little bit smaller, but it is lockable, which is very nice. Now if we move over to the driver's area, once again we have a really nice seat with all the same features as the passenger seat, except for this one does have a flip up bolster. Once again a little storage area with two cup holders. Obviously we do have our throttle controls and they are dual controls because it does have two engines. We do have our steering wheel of course with tilt steering. Here we have our ignition area with our horn as well. Obviously the keys are not in it but that's where they would go. Down here we also have a 12 volt power outlet as well as an aux and a USB in. Here we have our screen display featuring all the controls, tachometer speedo, all your information of the boat, as well as a joystick and a couple buttons to control it with. Additionally, this boat does have a 12 person maximum carrying capacity according to the US Coast Guard. So another feature to note is in the middle of the floor here, we do have a very nice sized ski locker that also serves as storage for our anchor light looking at the side of the passenger council you'll notice a very large door this gives way to a really huge storage compartment area um, that is even big enough if you had to you could put a portable toilet in here there's even little racks for towels and a toilet paper holder obviously we do have a full walk through windshield as well Another feature to notice is this right here, it's called our close off panel. So when we have that closed and the windshield closed, if it's kind of a colder day or something, this really blocks off the wind for all the passengers in the rear of the boat and makes it a really enjoyable ride. And then once again, there is storage underneath. Right now I just have the Bimini boot in here. And just like that, we're all taken care of again. So right now, I do have our two additional cushions thrown in the center here. So this first cushion and this cushion right here, you can fully take out, making this a full runway. This is a super nice feature because you can have this in and make it like a total layout front bow area. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to take these out because it's hard to do with one hand. But underneath both of the layback couches on the sides, we do have storage on both sides. As you can see, 
Additionally, these front two cushions can be moved out, allowing an area for a person to step if they're trying to throw an anchor or anything of that nature. And last but not least, in the very bow of the boat, we do have an anchor storage compartment that also doubles as a front boarding ladder. The ladder extends out and then telescopes down with three steps. So once again, this is a 2020 Yamaha 240SX. It's an excellent boat. If you have any interest in the boat, please feel free to stop by the store. It's again, we are Leaders RPM and we're located in Kalamazoo, Michigan. If you can't make it in, feel free to visit the website. That is www.leadersrpm.com. We'll have tons of pictures, videos on, on there as well as a detailed description going over the boat. Thank you for watching.